Shoot. It's the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. That's the correct button. There we go. Thought I pressed the right button. Oh. Uh, mark is red. Okay. Good lord. Where's the where's the right button? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you are is doing. There we go. Now we've hit the correct button. Sharing it out, ladies and gentlemen, sharing it out. I have to share it to my own page. I have to share it to the Todd Cook page. And it is shared. And now I've got to heart it. I've got to send myself some hearts because I love it. There we go. Now I got some hearts going on. Look, there we go. Oh God, I'm dropping this thing. Good morning. All right, so as y'all know, I didn't do a live feed yesterday morning because I was exhausted. The last three days really kicked my butt, but I slept almost all day yesterday and I slept a lot last night too. So I'm awake. I just woke up like I like literally rolled out and it was 655. So I had like five minutes to get everything set up to do the live feed. So I'm, you're still going to hear it in my voice. I'll wake up as we go. All right, so a little sip of coffee, a little sip of coffee, never hurt nobody. A little, 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 little. So, um, I have not gone to, I have not, a, I have not, a, I have not a gone through my messages yet. <laughs> I have not a, okay, I can't talk. All right, so have y'all seen the new videos? Have y'all seen the, the all the new videos and have you seen the uh the stuff is this i'm trying to get through the messages now okay you've been up for three hours already i made i made debbie i made peach clover yesterday and i followed the, the the damn directions it's perfect like I, I followed the damn directions you know what i burnt the shit out of it like it tastes like charcoal but I followed the daggum directions. I promise you I did. Recommended. Deva, 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 deva. Okay. There we go. All right. All those are done. All right. All those messages are done. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Poppy. Popcorn. Popcorn's in the house. Hello, popcorn. How you doing? Yeah. Um, I made a uh, peach cobbler which I've been craving now for about a month. I made, I went out and got the damn shit and I made one last night and uh, with a little bit and I burnt the shit out of it. Like it was supposed to be in the oven for 400 degrees for 55 minutes is what it told me. That's what it told me. 55 to 65 minutes. So I put it on for 40 minutes and I burnt the shit out of it. It seemed a little much to me too, but you know, I did the freaking directions. That's what it said. Oh, well, anyway. All right, let's go on to the good news. Is I got to open everything up because I have everything unopened. Um, okay, so have y'all seen the TikTokers? TikTokers. Oh, okay, that was loud. Okay, so yes, your mother used to tell me that all the time. Your mother, wait, all right, hold on, I gotta back up because I missed what you do. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Never follow directions. Yeah, I know, right? After another couple of paydays because of your attitude and personality, I'll be ordering your shirt from Big Chris because Spencer's doesn't have extra fat. <laughs> well, you know, I guess they don't, but. But good sir, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. I, I think the most the the most interesting thing about this the, the, that I find the most interesting about having shirts for sale of it, you know, in stores across the United States is eventually I'm going to run into someone wearing my shirt, 
<laughs> and and it, it's going to be like 50-50 if they know who I am. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It is the 27th day of Halloween. So happy Halloween. Every oven is different. Exactly. I know. Yeah, I got a brand new oven. No TikTok for you? Oh, man. Check it out. Look. TikTok is kind of fun, dude. But even if you don't have it, I'm putting up videos, most of the videos, on Instagram, which is the same. Monster underscore Abaddon down there on the bottom of the screen um, is on my Instagram as well. And I do put them up to the Facebook as well. But uh, I've been trying to, trying to, you know, so what, it's like I'm a tear in it. You got all of them on TikTok. Then you got some of them on Instagram. And then you got a little bit less on Facebook, but still trying to spread the love. If you want it two or three times, yeah, Spencer's doesn't have them. You have to order them from the Big Chris Arts, uh, Big Chris Art uh, store, uh, cultofools.com. All right, so the ticket talk up. I, um, the, the one video isn't, isn't doing the one video that I really wanted to do well, isn't doing that well. Um, but the other video, let me just back this up here, go here and refresh. Let's go see. So the other video, the one with the cop, uh, the, the, my security, I had, I had cops that escorted me everywhere I went yesterday or the other day, day for yesterday. Um, I had they had uh the mall had hired or i guess hired i don't know had cops there i don't know but had two police officers follow me everywhere i went the one that's in the video with me was like a really cool cat he was a really good dude so they were following me everywhere and uh hanging out with me the whole time i did the lives and all that good stuff at the mall uh it was really cool but that video only has 4047 views so far and that, i was really hoping that would get a lot more it was kind of funny and then um, the one video that went kind of kind of viral, I guess, is up to 46.9K, and the other one is 14.7K for Spencer's. So that's pretty cool that I've got one of the videos is up to 40. It went up, it went up another 6,000 since I, since I first talked about it, and I thought that was really, really cool that we're up to that many, many uh, likes. Uh, Facebook logged me out a long time ago. I didn't know the password to give back in. So I have extra profiles. Oh, I get it. Yeah, we always forget that shit. Good morning, Joyster. Joyster's in the house. What's up, brother? What's up? And the good news is they are like from my hometown, so supporting local business. Yeah, that's cool, Paul. Um, Big Chris is an amazing person. So is Q. Um, I've, I've enjoyed working with them. Um, you like the one on me knocking on the wall? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a fun one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, Cindy. I don't work at a haunt. I um, I cameo at them every once in a while, but I've, I haven't worked at a haunt in a long time. I work in film and TV, so me working in film and TV is going great because I've actually I've actually de declined a bunch of jobs lately because I've got some other stuff going on. But uh, yeah, work is work is always good. So yeah, Big Chris and Q are amazing. I love them. Um, I've loved working with them. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Barbie came down or came up from Florida and helped me with the, um, Spencer stuff. Um, and I had a, I had a, I had a little, another person help me, but she could only hurt me one day because of, uh, some issues that I had to handle. I'd take care of. Your shirt will be there on 11 11. Hell yeah. Went ahead and bought my uh, shirt at uh, for my daughter. I already had my shirt, but I went ahead and bought my daughter one when I was out there. And how about Relic and, and Willie yesterday? Relic and Willie sold out two stores. Well, they sold out the first store completely. They almost sold out the last store. Uh, before they left, there was, I think, two Chris FX and one of my shirts left. But they sold everything else. How crazy is that? They sold out two stores. That's nuts. And really cool. That was cool watching them. So yeah. Anyway, for those people that do have TikTok, it's monster underscore Abaddon. Go check out the last video I was posted, or you can go on the official Abaddon of Polyon site and you can see Barbie was recording me and I didn't realize it when I was talking to the young man about his worth and having worth. Um, I know that if y'all watch my, if y'all come to my morning podcast, the morning audio feeds, um, that you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, I take that message into the world and every time, even, even when I'm out in Demon, out in public doing live shows and live stuff, um, I, I 
I talk to certain people. If I see someone's down, if I see someone's got something going on with them or whatever, I talk to them. And and the proof is in the pudding that I ha I am a man that I live by my words. And uh, Barbie Barbara Barbara was recording me, uh, and I didn't realize it until like man, I, I noticed somebody was recording me, but I didn't realize it was her when I when it was going on. Um, and I and that that video was posted. She sent it to me yesterday, and I was like, oh, it was you. I knew I saw a camera, but I, I mean a, a, a cell phone. But I just what I was so into talking to this kid that I that I wasn't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have you decided what other areas or cities you'll be visiting? Have you thought of doing a national tour? I have thought about doing a national tour, um, but I've only done these cities. Uh, and the reason is it's really silly. It's really silly reason. I forgot to order more horns, so I have faces. But I didn't have any more horns, and I didn't want to go out half cocked. Get it? <laughs> I didn't want to go out half face, so I just I ordered some more yesterday, and I'm waiting for them to come in, and then I'm going to call around and decide where I'm going to go after this. I plan on making random tours, like anywhere I do go. I plan on finding if there's dispensers in that area, and then setting up uh, uh, to go there uh, whenever I go anywhere. So that's that's hopefully going to see something that happens. Work calls. All right, Paul, thank you so much for coming in and go take care of work, brother. And we will talk to you later. If you need anything, just give me a call, okay? Um, what did I miss from Joyster? Because Popcorn said, I don't know. We will see. Uh, oh, okay, you're ready. Yeah, I think he's ready. I think he's going to be amazing. We I talked to him last night a little bit, uh, talked to Joyster last night a little bit. And he, he was telling me some of the new things that he's got planned, and I think that he's ready. I think he's going to be amazing. The thing is, is no matter who it is, it doesn't matter if it's Joyster or Lacey, or it doesn't matter who it is, all of you have the, abil the, the ability to do amazing things in your life. Um, I watched a live feed last night from a guy who just felt stagnant. He just felt lost, lost in this world. He, in, he even referred himself to like a chair. He said that, you know, you see that chair there, it exists. It's sitting there. It has a purpose. But it's just sitting there. It's not moving forward in life. It's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. And he referred to himself that way. And I totally got it, dude. It like hit me in the soul because I felt that way. And he said he was angry. And I was like, good. But, you know, use that anger because you can't change. It, you, anger is like one of the best, best things in this world. Because without the anger, you'll never change. You'll get complacent. You'll get stagnant. But if you get angry enough, if you want to change enough, then the anger will force you to change. Hell yeah, Sportsmith. Oh, dude, you dude. If I come up that way, I'm definitely hooking up with you. 100% their uh, popcorn. But yeah, dude, like use that anger to move forward. Find your niche and move forward. I'd love to shake your hand. By the way, my, my words of wisdom, if you're going to make someone laugh... You're making yourself smile that's right that's absolutely right if you're making someone else laugh you're making yourself smile that's absolutely right you know when people say it's better to give than it is to take or it's better to take than to give whatever blah blah blah. the truth is man give yourself and if you give yourself the correct way then both parties will benefit benefit absolutely right you have to redirect that angry anger into energy absolutely popcorn you really do you have to use that anger you have to get pissed off because if you don't get mad then you'll never change you get complacent but if you get mad man you get truly mad at your life at your situation you will you know your weight my weight i got I was at 298 pounds i got pissed off i lost the weight i didn't like my job i was pissed off i got another job I didn't like where I lived. It pissed me off. I went and changed places. I went and got another place. Once you decide that you're just had enough, I've had enough, then you will find a way to make it work. You will find a way. That's the way life is. That's the way where life works. There's a Spencer's in Cleveland, Ohio. Hint, hint. Absolutely. I know there is, Shelly. That's awesome. Um, and I, I'd love to. I'd love to do nothing just for the next few months, but just drive around and hit all the stores. That'd be really cool, but they don't pay me. <laughs> they, if they paid me to go on tour I would be going on right now yeah see yeah that's 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 the way I used to be poppy popcorn that's the way I used to be I used to 
I used to push my anger anger out towards everyone around me and um, hop on my Harley Davidson, drive down to the local bar and then beat the shit out of somebody if they said something. And, you know, a few years back and I decided, you know, that's just not the way it's going to work for me. I can't do that no more. So I turned that anger from being a negative inside, pushing it out towards other people in motion into a inside, get off my ass and do something motion. And, and by redirecting that energy, even though it wasn't, see, anger doesn't have to be negative energy. Anger can be positive energy. It all depends on how you push it out. You know what I mean? So yeah, I changed. I made it work. And I hope that guy that I, I was talking to last night does too, man. I hope he finds his place because not having purpose, having anger and having feeling, you know, not understanding, hey man, I'm, I'm freaking stagnant. I'm stagnant. I'm I'm sitting here just spinning my tires and nothing's working out. And, you know, having that feeling without any purpose, without any, without anywhere to move forward is horrible feeling. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. How are you? So I haven't looked at the other stuff yet. I haven't looked at, uh, any, I, you know, I really haven't dug through anything this morning. Um, I just I went to the TikTok to check it out and was really amazed at uh, the new all the new stuff. It looks like the uh, Instagram is doing really well. Thank you, thank you to each and every one of you that follow my TikTok and my Instagram. That's really cool. Um, let's pull up some other stuff and let's see how let's see how things are going. We'll see how some things are going. So let's. I'm gonna check the TikTok again before we move out because it's been jumping. It's it's been jumping up. It's pretty cool. Uh, 220, 233 other people like this. No, that's an old video. Holy crap. Uh, 811 more like this video. Okay, let me see which one we're at here. Uh, it looks like we're up. So this is funny. We're almost we're almost up th or two thousand followers in four days. That is really cool. That is really cool. Looks like we're up to 4,089 on the video with the cop walk, me and the cop walking out, which was really awesome. 46.9K on and 14.7K on the Spencer ones. That is just really cool. And then it's relit uh, the the one. I'm almost up to 10 grand on the monster one too, which is kind of cool. So, I, man, I really appreciate everybody that's following the TikTok. That is really cool. I'm really enjoying these. This is, It makes it fun. You know what I mean? It makes it fun again. To, to see those numbers spike up. So let's go check out the Insta Instagrams. Shit, no, I don't want that. I want, I almost, I almost hit archive. Where's my insights? There they are. All right, so it looks like we got about 275, 261. So we're pushing everything a little, almost, almost to 300 per on uh, the Instagram, which is pretty good. Um, <laughs> and we're plus six uh looks like we're up for the month we're up 61 followers 70 or 61 uh followers so that's pretty cool i appreciate everything that's everybody that's following me on the tiktok and the instagram it uh like i said it makes it worthwhile when i can get the message out there and, and see what people think and see the comments and whatnot i try to reach back and touch you know <laughs> that didn't sound right I try to reach out and talk to everybody that uh, comments and whatnot and whatnots. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Tommy. Uh, did you should repo repost the one with the bad boys thing. Yeah, dude, it was <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, my ticket with Bone Collector around a hundred. Your your TikToks with Bone Collector around one hundred eighteen views. That's cool, dude. Like, I think my best one was the one I did with Monster, and it, it had a few, and then I did the other videos, and I woke up the next morning, and it was just, it was crazy. Uh, just keep keep posting videos. That's all I can say, just keep posting videos, and I guarantee you something's gonna kick off. My TikToks are awesome. Uh, yeah, I know, I've gotta do some more with Scurvy. I'm waiting on my horns to come in. As soon as my horns come in, then I'll get back in face and do some more. I hope they come in before Halloween because I damn sure want to do some on Halloween. <laughs> God. I just woke up. Happy Dove does reach rounds. Watch your six. When you're... 
Yeah, look, you're, it's gonna happen, Joyster. You're gonna get more followers as you go. Just make more videos. I think I have, uh, I have 74 videos. I had like 60 videos before I got any reach. Just keep putting them out. Just keep putting the videos out. And then eventually one of them is gonna get put on the For You page. James Scurvy is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna go look at Scurvy's right now. I'm gonna go check out Scurvy's. Uh, Scurvy search users top scurvy has 41.3 thousand that's 41,300 plus fans on TikTok with 266.6 thousand likes on TikTok everybody welcome the infamous the one and only scurvy into the room and I I have a picture that I put up last night of scurvy in an Abaddon shirt. How freaking cool is that? It's it's awesome. I I scurvy, thank you so much for supporting me and putting that shirt on. That's really really cool. That's really really cool. Now if you could just uh, send over some TikTok love and that shirt would be great. <laughs> no, really, uh, my TikTok blew up over the weekend, scurvy like crazy blew up. I'm up. up I'm up. 2,000 fans in four days uh, So that's pretty cool and I got one video that's pushing 40 47,000 uh, Likes and I got another one that's got 14.7 14.7k likes So I'm, I'm I'm dude. I'm just shocked like what? but uh Hopefully that won't be my last ones. Hope I can keep that trend going But good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, somebody said uh, somebody said that if you had your shirt out, you'd be wearing it. I'd have been like, nah, bro, I'm gonna be wearing it. As soon as, as soon as scurvy shirts come clean, bro, I'm getting one for damn sure. That's cool. Just cool, man. I like it. I got the other ones. You saw the TikToks? Thank you. Yeah, that's cool as shit, ain't it, James? Like, I, I I know that you know because you've you've had some that popped up too, like crazy. Isn't it weird? Like I woke up to that. I was I went to bed and I had like I think the the most I had was one of them had like seven thousand likes and it was like one video, and I was like, wow, wow, I got like seven thousand likes on this video. Wow, and I woke up and it was like forty thousand. I was like, what in the shit? <laughs> and I had went up a thousand followers in one night. I was like, what in the world is going on here? I was like, what? <clears throat> Yes, yeah, Scurvy. When's your CO? When's your When's your cult shirt coming out? When are y'all hitting the Are y'all hitting the the Big Chris store soon or anything? Do you know? Cause I don't even know. <sighs> Still young. As soon as you know, you'll post. Yeah, I don't know it yet either. So as soon as we know, as soon as me or James or anybody knows, we'll post it up there. Cause that's I'm definitely getting one. Or a heart in a heartbeat. I'm gonna talk to him uh, about. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Scurvy later about doing some more TikToks. We gotta find some videos to do together, and it's hard to find videos that we want to do together. You know what I mean? You need help to do TikTok? Well, we work it out. We'll figure something out. Yeah, your live feed that morning was hyper. Well, I'd be that more we, we had fun that's the whole idea I hadn't had sleep in like three days except for like three hours and I had that average about two hours a day for three days so it was like oh good morning Wyland good morning yeah we we were running we had a lot of driving to do we had a lot of driving to do had to uh, you know make up chair get all the stuff done, load up everything, drive all the way out there, get with security, you know, blah, 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 blah. All it takes is one video on TikTok. I know, look, I'm hoping that that video continues going. Like I hope people continue watching it, but I know as time, as time goes by, the further down the timeline it gets. Did you get to see Flinch? Kirby? Did y'all get to go hang out with Flinch? 
Um, I'm hoping you did. Um, or are you going today? Is that, is that what y'all are doing? Oh, yeah. Are y'all going to go see Flinch today? Or did you get to hang out with Flinch yet? Um, I hope so. We, me and Flinch were supposed to do a live feed yesterday. And I totally bombed it because as soon as I got home, I took my face off. I took my face off and I went and crawled in the bed and I slept. For you three. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, any 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 TikTok you see that you would like to see me or anybody as Kirby would be the same way. If you if you have any TikToks you'd like to see us do, send it to us so we can look at it. Joyster Kirby shovels, right? Rar. I sent one about shovels to uh to Scurvy. It's funny, the sher the Sherver God. Oh, you did get to hang out. Oh, that's awesome. You got to hang out with Flinch and Sam. That's awesome. That is really cool. I hope you got some pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, Flinch is a really good, funny dude. He's a funny dude. I am so glad you finally got to meet him. That is awesome. I will probably be talking to him later today. I talked to him all the time, so I'll probably be talking to him later today and trying to work out what we're going to do because I think we're going to be hitting some conferences together this year again, maybe. This is 2000 or 2020. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might. So that's awesome. So when you say you're on the road today, you're driving, I guess you're driving home today, huh? Yeah. How do you find the ones talking? All I can do is find them. All right. So when you're on TikTok and you see, see one that you like, you can click the little three dots or whatever and then choose save to favorites and then that saves the sound for you later so you can go back and you can make the the TikTok from your favorite sounds <clears throat> tommy you're buying my shirt soon that's awesome i really appreciate it um yeah i think it's just gonna be so cool just to one day hey guys see and meet out I mean, i'm telling you what James, I'm not even kidding. I, there's two people next year on my tour, on my conference tour. Next year, I am, I am going to, no matter what, I'm going to find Fang Jack, Fang Smith Jack, and I, whatever conference he's going to be at, and I'm going to that conference just to just to see him. And then I'm going to find a conference that you're at. I'm going to find something that you're at, and I'm going to come see you. So. I don't know where they're going to be. That's why I haven't released or said anything about what what it's going to be. But next year, I am coming to find you, and we are going to hang out, and I'm going to bring you a shovel. All right, Leanne, run. Why don't you drive, or you are actually going to run? Well, you know, if you want to run, run. Just wear nice shoes. Shoes. We'll get you some shoes if you're going to run. But yes, next year. I am. That's my two goals. My two goals, other than you know doing all their stuff, is I am going to find Fang Jack Smith. It's my Fang Smith Jack. I'm so tired. I can't think. And I'm going to find you and Sicken, and we are going to hang out. If I have to drive to your house and make a conference. Horror Hound. I don't even know what Horror Hound is. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to look that up right now. Horror Hound Con 2020 in Cincinnati, in Cincinnati, in Cincinnati, March, January, February, March, January, February, March. What have I got in March? I don't know what I've got in March. I might, it, as long as it's not at the same as one of the conferences I have. Dad it. I hope it's not. Uh, let me, let me see here. Hold on. Convention save. Where's my schedule? Uh, January, February, May. I don't have any. I got one for May. I don't have anything for March. So March is probably doable. Doable. Oh, Lord. Oh, it might be doable. That's in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio. <clears throat> uh, a bit Liam Nelson-ish. Uh -huh. I will find you and I will visit with you 
We will have a good time. I'm a man of many skills, but my one skill is I will find you and we will have a good time. <laughs> anyway, yes, we are going to have fun. Um, yep, it is. It is in March, March 20th to, and 22nd. Mint March 20th to the 22nd, 2020. Pre-sale tickets are already uh, start. No, or they, pre-launch ticket pre-sale ticket launch november 1st if i can get that out of my mouth um it looks like uh michael rooker will be there jason muse from um from um uh silent silent dude Bill, bob bills silent, silent bob's videos i can't think billy zane who i would love to meet and john cassier As so far that's what they've got on there um Looks like they got uh, September 6th and 6 to 8th. They'll be in Indianapolis and 20th, 22nd. Yeah, that's awesome. So I am going to uh, be looking into this. I'm going to keep it pulled up because I'm, I'm interested in doing this now. 100%. Uh, we are going to save this. Copy this, this, every February. Enter, enter. March. Enter. Uh, that would be. Oh God! Come on, microphone. Work with me here. Come on, microphone. Sin. Cincinnati, Ohio. Archon weekend show. File. Save. Okay. All right, Scurvy. I put that into the um, to the uh list, the the schedule list to see if I can make that. Um, it looks like so far I will be at HauntCon in New Orleans in January. I am going to do my best to be at Mad Monster uh, in North Carolina in February. Then H Horror Hound Weekend, March. Um, Dallas, Texas, Frightmare in May. And then Mad Monster again in June in Arizona. So that's what I have so far. Um, but as people tell me about more cons, I'm going to be adding to it. My whole goal is I want to hit about 10 cons next year. And then every every town that I hit, I'm also going to try to hit the Spencer's Gifts in that area too to promote sales. Good morning, Frost. What's kicking, chicken? Come here and let me love you. That I sing that. I, sing, I scream that all the time. I, it's one of the things I scream when I'm running around. I will hang with him and I will pet him and I will call him scurvy. I will love him and pet him and hug him and call him scurvy. Abaddon, all hope of retaining sanity. If you think you're going to be sane in here. I'm going to hug your face. You can hug my face. I'm going to hug your face. We're going to be face hugging facers. Peoples. Playing monsters. Clown. Demons. We're going to hug each other's faces. Because I love your face. And technically, since I love my face, I have to love your face. Because we technically have the same face. So, which reminds me, I got to order more faces. Because I don't know how long Scream Team is going to be making them. Like, they shut down last year. Um, do they normally shut down every year? Or can I order one, you know, can I, can I keep ordering throughout the year? Because they shut down last year for a while. Which sucks. And why I had to make my own face for a while. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order probably about 20 or so of them. So I can make sure I've got enough faces for all the cons next year. Team's gonna shit when they get that order. I ordered from them the one day. I ordered. I had a big order for them, and they were like, "What?" They were like, what "The hell!" But I also got them working right now. They're supposed to be getting it where I can order some nefarious horns because uh, they don't sell them individual, and I'm not paying sixty dollars for another face uh, that I don't use just for the horns that I do use. So, yeah, I got to order faces. I ordered some. I got. I think I got three. I think I have three in there. Um, two or three. Two. I have two left. So, I need to check the email and see if they've responded. Because they were. They, they asked me how how soon would I need them, and I'm like, oh, next week or so. 
So looks like the horns from mostly dead will be here soon. Looks like I've got some more casting auditions they want me to do. That scream team has been All right, so yeah, so they haven't answered me yet. Um, they answered once and then didn't answer after, so that, that's about normal. Damn it. Um, so I don't know what's gonna happen with the horns because I need them, but I did order some medium style. I ordered some different horns. Ordered something new, something different. So I'm hoping they're, they're decent. I don't know. Um. Looks like I gotta make a payment on my credit card. Oh lord. But I just did that. Uh, did you have fun yesterday? No, I slept yesterday. I literally slept all day yesterday. Think about putting horns on your mouth as mask. That would be awesome. I think that'd actually be kind of cool. I'll get 22 days until it's due. We got, we got time. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah, I slept all day yesterday, like, like for real. And then, um, got up and slept most of the night last night too. So I kind of caught up on sleep because I was really far behind. Um, the last few days were really rough doing all of the, doing all of the, uh, lives. Okay. Yeah. Doing all the lives and doing all the driving and everything just really um uh no they're not too small. They're they're actually right they're they're right. I just haven't um I haven't cut them off the uh forehead prosthetic. So I didn't want to because I have an idea for the prosthetics you gave me, Joyster. I have another idea uh for another character that I wanna do. You might get an invite from my TT family. I asked them to add you to the hashtag family. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Good morning, Leandra. I I don't know how to do uh the join family stuff, but I'll definitely keep an eye out for it and, and do that. I'll be happy to do that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, the numbers have jumped up on my TikTok insanely in the last two days. In two days, we have jumped up all, well, almost 2,000 followers. Um, let me go to my analytics here. Um, we have jumped up uh, 1,936 followers in two days. Um, yeah, so almost 2,000 followers in two days. And our content... Um, 4.2, 2.6, 47,000, uh, 14,000, almost 15,000. Um, we've had some videos that have gone crazy. 1.1K. Um, a lot of the rest of them are 400 to 800. Um, it's pretty neat. I'm, I'm 1.6K. Everything looks pretty good. And uh, has been going pretty crazy. So I don't know if, like I said, I've been on the For You page or um, I just, people really liked a couple of videos and shared the shit out of them, I guess. Good morning, Tamara. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so we've jumped up a lot. Almost 2,000 followers on the TikTok in two days. And we've got some videos that are pushing over. We got one that's pushing over 47,000 likes in two days. Um, it's, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, 508 follows in four weeks is amazing. That is really good. It's, it's, it's really good on TikTok. I, if it wasn't for the one video just blowing the shit up for me, I'd be sitting at 300. Um, but I woke up, I went to bed, I had 300 followers, like 307. I woke up and was sitting at like 1,290 or something like that. What in the shit happened? Like what happened? When it was all that one video just went stupid crazy.
But yeah, it's gone. It's gone even up from there. It hasn't stopped. It's still going. But I figured after a couple of days, it would lose traction because it would be buried deep down into the For You page, you know, or whatever. But uh, apparently it's still getting lots of views and getting lots of shares. So, or, or whatever. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Dude, yeah, <laughs> magic? I don't know if I'm magic, man. I, but I was pretty happy with the numbers. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was excited like a little kid, man. For real. So everybody, if you haven't followed me on TikTok, it's monster underscore Abad Abaddon, my name. Sorry, I burped right in the middle of that. Monster underscore Abaddon. It's the same thing on my on my Instagram. So if you want to check it out, please do. Um, you got a few more friends to follow me? Hell yeah, but I like friends. Violin, I like friends. You want to TikTok? Tamara, you would be really good at it. No, I'm serious. You would be really good at TikToks because I'm telling you, um, they're they're fun. They're really fun, and and you can retake it as many times as you want the video. You can you know redo it, redo it, and you don't have to put them out there. You can save them to yourself and then put them out as when you want to. So that's pretty cool. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Glenn. Yeah, but I think you would be really. I think you would do really well because TikTok loves pretty ladies. I'm just saying. Yep, monster underscore Abaddon is on my Instagram and my TikTok and my Twitter. So follow all of those if you don't mind and share it out. If you see something that if you see something you like, please share it out. Why thank you, Tamara. Thank you so much. Yeah, I decided I was gonna do something different because I knew that I was gonna have the police escorting me everywhere and doing the security um on the at the uh, one one mall that we went to. And since I knew that I was going to be surrounded by cops, I decided I was going to play FBI or Men in Black. So I put on my nicest suit. <laughs> yeah, it makes it a lot easier to answer. I remember when you put, just put everything the same. And it's easier to say, too. I used to have them all different, but I'm like, nah, it's not all the same. But yeah, the TikToks are fun. TikToks are fun. Good morning, Ashley. Let's see why it hates me. No. Friends in low places. I got friends in all kinds of different demographics. Um, I've got I've got fans that are two years old. I got fans that are 80 years old. I like friends. Friends. So yeah, 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 yeah. Go follow me. Go share it out. If you see something you like, please share it. Let's get the word out there so we can get more peoples. Have more peoples around. We like peoples. The more peoples I get, the more chances are that I can get something monetized and I can make a little money so I can hit these conventions next year because they don't pay for themselves, you know? Well, some do. There's a couple of them that I'm hired to go to, so they pay for themselves, but there's a couple that, that, that don't, that I'll have to actually pay. Here's Miss T. Rain. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just, I'm going to look that up right now. Watch this. Uh, M S T. The spaces? Is it spaces like that and everything? Uh, Mrs. Dot T dot R E G N search users. Nope, I must have not done it right. I must, I must have not have done it right because I'm not finding you, Tam, 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 Tamara, Tamara, Tamara T. Is there spaces in it too? Oh, damn it! Is there? Can we put spaces in it? Let's see. I can't tell if there's dots in there or not. I'm gonna have to save it and put it on something that's larger. Copy. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Paste. Okay. So it is dots. M S dot T dot R E M S dot T dot oh wait, I'm doing space again. T dot R E G N. Right? R E I R E I G N search. There you are. I found you and you are followed. 
You is our followed Mrs. T Rain Tamara. You are followed on the Tikataka. I have followed you. All right. Uh, Frostbites is at frostbite.666. Y'all go follow him as well. I'm already following him. Mine's just Scurvy the Clown. You can find Scurvy just type in about Scurvy because he's like 46,000 fans. More is at. Uh, no wonder, no dots. I found you. I found you. I got you, Tamara. Uh, you have to dress in a suit more often. You look so handsome just saying. Why, well, thank you, Lori. Why, well, thank you very much. I actually am going to. I think that I like the way that it looked. I like the way it felt. I like the reactions that I got. Um, so I'm, I, I have a few suits, but I'm looking at some different ones. I've been looking at some more, um, custom suits i'm looking at one that i really like that's kind of like a dark red i've been thinking about that and i've been thinking about getting a solid white suit too what info do you give for tiktok um use your username <laughs> mike oscar indigo <laughs> it'll be india mike oscar india sierra tango moist duh <laughs> oh god and i turn the bread around good one uh, look at you look at you got alien face <laughs> you got that hair if y'all don't know, Tamara's got hair down to her knees. She has, and I'm not kidding you, she has hair down to her knees, and it's amazing. I love the tea. All right, I hearted everything you got. You're all good. I followed you, and I hearted everything. No white after Labor Day. <laughs> Sign me up, kind of like Facebook email, password, and start following demons and peoples and clowns. I know, right? So moist. Hope you've been doing good, bro. Haven't heard from you in a minute. Oh, did it scurvy? Yeah, scurvy's cool, cool. I love scurvy. So, T, I got your shit. Everything, I put a heart on every one of your videos. Every one of them. Every one of them. I got you. I got you. Rapunzel, I know your hair is down to your damn legs, to your knees. It's awesome. I love your hair. Oh my God, if y'all look at the screen right now, the, the song that's playing, the, the music player is behind my, my face and it looks like I've got cat ears. <laughs> I got cartoon cat ears because of, of the fox ears, whatever. That's funny. I did get some sleep. I slept all day yesterday and I slept all night last night. So I am caught up on sleep. I woke up at 6.55 and uh and and was happy and good and felt rested people are starting to wake up on tiktok too because i'm starting to jump again yeah. people are starting to wake up on tiktok so yeah so i'm missing bigs today if y'all see bigs tell him i love him because i miss him because he's not here Rama duck. Peoples and demons and clowns. Oh my. People and demons and clowns. Oh my. People and demons and clowns. Oh my. What does the fox say? What does the demon fox say? If you like this content, like, share, comment. Oh. <laughs> That's what the demon fox says. I saw I, I saw a thing the other day. It's, it's dirty. I can't tell y'all over the thing, but it was hilarious. And I'm just gonna say there was a certain activity going on, and it said, and it said, the one thing you don't want to hear while you're doing this certain activity is if you've liked this video, like, follow, and share. I was I was dying. I started rolling. I was like, oh my god, that would be horrible if you're having that activity and your partner says that starts start saying that while looking off in the distance. Oh my god. That would be like, what? No, run away. Run away, run away. 
<laughs> I can just imagine. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. So all right, Scurvy, I added Cincinnati, Ohio to the con list, uh, which I'm gonna be submitting to my manager. Um, actually, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm probably doing it tomorrow. So I added that on there and we'll see what we can do. And I have to, um, I'll have to submit it to my other company before the end of the year. So they will know exactly when to schedule me. So, and try to work on scheduling me to the conventions because they're gonna we always try instead of me just buying tickets they always try to get me hired on there first you know what i mean so hopefully my my likes and shares and all my stuff will go up to a point that uh they'll be like hell yeah we want you to come and we'll pay you that would be awesome all right so this is what we're gonna do uh, I think Joyster is coming on tonight. Joyster, are you coming on tonight? Joyster, is you is are you coming on tonight? Now I know it takes about 15 seconds of lag before he even hears me, and then there'll be another like 15 seconds before I see the reply because of Facebook. It's so amazing. It's such an amazing platform. It's so amazing. There, I followed her back. Okay. Uh, yes, it would be awesome to see me there. Yes, it would be awesome to see you there. I'm telling you, we're hanging out. I'm going to, I've told you in, in a minute, we, I'm going to find a convention or something. We're going to find something that you are at next year, and I am going to come to it. And it may be something that you don't even know I'm showing up to. Maybe something you're like, hey, we're going to be at this uh, costume contest or whatever. And you're going to look up and see me sitting in the in the in the audience clapping like a fool or something. You know, I like surprising people. I, I really enjoy it. So it's a possibility that you may not even know I'm coming. And either you look up and you see me. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. I wake up some mornings and I'm like, you know, what? I think I want to drive to Ohio. Uh, because I've woken up and drove, I drove to Wyoming once off a spur. I drove to Arks once off a spur. It's very possible. I might be driving to Fort Smith, Arkansas here, or Arkansas, yeah, Arkansas here out of a spur one day. You never know. You never know what the demon is going to do. But except for, you know, I'm always going to keep doing it real, keeping it real. That's one thing I'm going to do is just keep it real. Keeping it real, yo. All right, let's go look at some of the stuff here. We uh, we have been having a great time. Did y'all see the uh, video, by the way? Did you see the latest video? I put it up on Facebook too. With the uh, when I was talking to the young man, Barbara was recording me, and I knew I knew somebody had something over it. I knew somebody was recording me. I didn't know who it was. I wasn't paying attention because I was really into talking to the to the young lad, and. Uh, and Barbara did it. It was Barbara recorded it. And I was happy she did because I was able to put it up there and let y'all see that not only do I talk about positive things every morning, but I also take it out into the real world. I take it out into uh, when I go live, when I go to do live shows and, and live uh, appearances. Um, I take it out with me because, you know, the biggest thing we can do is, and you know, one of the nicest things we can do is if you see somebody, talk to them. Now, I'll tell you one of the funny things that I did since I did have the police officers there escort me around uh, doing security and all that good stuff for the mall for me whatever blah 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 um, one of the things we did when I walked in there was the boys sitting by there and a couple of them ran and uh, of course I didn't chase them but I did walk up to the one that did not run I walked right up and I was like in a real serious voice with a real serious face I looked him dead and I was like I was like <clears throat> I'm sorry to inform you but you have a warrant and I'm here to drag you to hell this kid, this kid looked at me and was like, and looked at the cops, and the cops started shaking their head, yeah. And uh, he was like, oh, oh, I've been a good person. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, God, it was so funny. Georgia will be doing his feed tonight at 7. So I plan on trying to be there. Hopefully, I do not fall asleep or life doesn't get in the way. I want to be there at 7. So y'all need to be there, too. Joyster's going live at 7. Joyster, tell them what page you will be on, please, and uh, give yourself a shout out. 
Um, yeah, Shelly, I am definitely, definitely, definitely coming to hang out with Scurvy in 2020. I just don't know when. Right now, I put it on the list for Cincinnati, Ohio at Horror Hound Weekend in March. That's that's why I put it on the list, but it's not been approved yet with my with my management. You know. Oh, that's cool, Bobby. Thank you, thank you, Bobby. Yeah, it's pretty. So it was a pretty. I think it was a pretty cool video. I liked it. I liked. I liked the fact that we finally that somebody got it. That that meant a lot to me. You know. So I also I'm thinking about getting. Have y'all seen the Rhino? It's called the Rhino armored vehicle that's got the Hellcat Dodge Hellcat motor in it uh, supercharged Hemi motor in it it's an armored vehicle called the Rhino I've been thinking about getting one of those what do y'all think think I should and not because of anything other than the fact that it's just cool <laughs> oh god I'm just going to spend all my money I'm just going to waste it on frivolous things like armored vehicles <laughs> just because I think it's cool. What do y'all think about that? That's a badass car, though. Or thing. Oh. How cool would that be that a demon pulls up in an armored vehicle pulling a trailer that says Cult of Fools? <laughs> Dude, they're bad. They're awesome looking. Bulletproof, IED proof run flats uh leds all over the place camera systems all over the place you have four every corner um uh every corner has a camera so you can see 360 degrees around the vehicle from inside um they do have a turret model where you can put a where you, where you can pop a turret open on the top that's pretty cool but the best part is that 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 hellcat hemi motor 700 horsepower motor sitting in it too that's pretty cool I spend it on shovels and clown shirts. I know. <laughs> I know you do. I will personally, if I get the rhino, I'm going to put a rack on the side for shovels just for scurvy. So, I mean, because could you imagine that TikTok? Me sicking and scurvy. Me sicking scurvy and flinch pulling up somewhere in a freaking armored rhino with shovels all over it. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> If anybody is rich and would like to donate towards our cause for this, you know, unique video and buy me a rhino, that'd be really cool. I appreciate it. <laughs> it needs, it needs to go rawr. I'm a duck. <laughs> Move out the way. <laughs> that'd be awesome. It's got a PA system. It really, it does. It comes with a PA system where you can talk outside. So I can just say it. So I can just pick up there and go rawr, rawr. Move out of the way. I'm a duck. We are migrating. <laughs> yeah, that would be so funny though. So yeah, anybody rich or anybody that's got a rich uncle's cousin's goldfish's brother's sister. All right, I, I'm not a, I'm not ashamed. I'll marry for money. Okay, so um, yeah. So anybody got anybody rich in their family? Um, let me know so I can try to get some funding here so we can make this video because that would be really cool. Um, definitely. <laughs> I might be driving to Georgia in the next week or two. I may be driving to Georgia. I'm not sure, but I might be driving to the Georgia. I don't know where in Georgia, but um, I'm waiting to find out. So if I do drive to Georgia, then I will do another live from the Ed Spencer's, wherever the hell live final stop is, wherever the, wherever the, or on the way, there's, there's gotta be a Spencer's on the way or on the way back. <clears throat> So that'll be, I'll let you all know that within the next week or two uh, on when I'm going. But it's probably going to be in November. <laughs> that one took forever to build up. I had to build that sneeze up. Ah, absolutely no shame in my game. That's right. I have no problem marrying for money. So if y'all know anybody that's rich, I got one leg in the grave. <laughs> How about Louisville, Kentucky? Uh, I do love Louisville. I like Bardstown Road. So, and we are planning on next year going to, I'm going to be getting a cabin. I'm going to be getting a cabin in the woods for a week to hang out with Biggs and a few other people. 
Uh, by the way, James, um, you and Sicken are invited to the cabin uh, next year as well. We're going to be renting a cabin for a week in the mountains. And we're going to, I mean, I, I, I want a cabin. It's got to have a few bedrooms. It's got to have a fireplace and a porch with a beautiful view and a hot tub. I get those items and I'm renting that cabin for a week. And you guys are welcome to come down and spend a vacation just to literally just chilling. Um, I'm probably going to end up paying. I'll pay, probably pay for the cabin and then everybody else can just pay for food and whatnot. We know Biggs is coming. I invited, uh, uh, Trixie and Kool-Aid. I don't know if they'll make it, but I invited them as well. And I'm inviting you and Sicken. So you and Sicken and Scurvy, you're invited to come to the cabin for a week. Uh, good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. Do we need a cook? We might. Yeah, James. I, yeah, I, I was. I would really love for y'all to come down for a week. It's, and it's, I mean, of course we're going to bring our costumes and bring our faces and everything just in case we feel like doing a live feed. Which would be really cool to have us all doing a live feed together. But I wanted a place to hang out that wasn't like a convention where we didn't have, you know, to run back and forth and do a bunch of different stuff. Just a week of hanging out as friends, getting to know, know each other better, talking, hanging out, bouncing ideas off each other, so on and so forth. I think it would be an amazing. And then another thing that I want to do for next year, which I'm going to talk to Chris and Q about is I want to try to find a convention that is l kind of mid United States for the Cult of Fools to get together. Um, to try to get all the members of the Cult of Fools and Q and Chris together in one spot and uh, and harass a convention together as Cult of Fools. So um, that's another thing that I want to try to work on. So keep keep that in your back, my, back of your mind too that if I can get that pushed out, then, then of course we'd want y'all to come down, you and Sigan to come down for that too. You, 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 pick you up, pick you up. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> Joyster, I already told you we're invited, goofball. I already, I already told you you can go if you want to. I know Biggs has helped you out and I don't think Biggs, is, Biggs would have an issue with it and I don't have an issue with it, so. Wyland, you want to go? Well, I, must, I guess I might have to extend it for a week and do one for the entertainers and one for the fans, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. I should start a GoFundMe for that shit, too, though. <laughs> Would you guys donate for that cause? Shelly, you'll be the cook. De uh, Debbie said she'd be the cook too. How many cooks are we gonna need? Yeah, all of the cult of fools in one place. Tell me that wouldn't be fun. Stitches, Relic, Willie, myself, Chris FX, Scurvy, Cherry Snot, Skeet, Funny Bones, Mungy. I mean, uh, I shoot the dead. Creepy, creepies, creepies. I think it's creepies. I think it's his name. Um. All of us in one spot. That would be sick. And of course, by then, there's probably going to be more added to the Cult of Fools, too. That would be awesome. And then all of our shirts there, all of our merch there, and be able to really push it and and do all live feeds. Could you imagine a live every, every one of, this, of the Cult of Fools going live at once from the same location? It'd be like The Rock and Chris... Uh, what is it? Chris... Uh, what is Chris's last name? I almost said Chris Brown, but that ain't it. Chris, you know the Chris I'm talking about. The Chris and Rock when they do that, they've done their films and they always go live at the same time and then and then screw with each other because they're both live at the same time. Really cool dude. Really cool dude. Uh, Kevin. Kevin Hart. That's what I'm thinking. So Kevin Hart and 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 uh, the Rock. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. Could you imagine all of the Cult of Fools going live at the same time and then messing with each other because we're all live at the same time? That would be funny. I want to go, but if I have to choose, I'll wait till the COF convention. I know, right? Wouldn't that, that would be amazing. Um, I think it would be really cool, especially if we get a few more people into the Cult of Fools. But with Chris and Q there, um, everybody sitting there, that, man, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. So I'm going to talk to him about it and see if we can't try to organize that. 
Relic sitting there with his Relic army. Willie sitting there with his bottle. <laughs> I love Willie Vodka. Y'all don't understand. I absolutely adore that guy. He is awesome. We do want good food. All right, so I don't know where, what, where all that was was at, but yeah, I'm talking about buying steaks and, and all kinds of good stuff. We're going to have some food. We're going to have some food at the cabin when we go to the cabin. Absolutely. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Good morning. How do we get Eddie sick, sickened in the COF? That is something that I've been working on. I've been trying to get sickened in there um, because, you know, sick and scurvy. So we're working on it. I'm trying. We're trying. As 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 is trying, because I think it would look really good to have both of them up there on the on the screen. Y'all see it. If you look at the main screen there, you can see that I have all the cultipoles members. But scurvy's up there. Uh and, and you know, sick of these. And I put I put cherry snot right next to scurvy because you know the purple and the pink, it kind of reminds me of you know sicken and scurvy because we love thick and do. I'd make biscuits and gravy or hog and hominy. Hominy. That sounds good. I'm going to get some stuff done. All right, Joyster, you have a great day and get done. Get doing. All right, watching his videos when I catch him. That's cool. That's cool. Yes. I, oh, I love them both. That sounds good, Debbie. Absolutely. We might need to get a cook. We might need to bring a cook. What do you think, Scurvy? Think we need to get a cook? We need to find somebody. We could do like a contest and people can submit their favorite dishes. And the person that's got the best dishes can can come cook for us for the week. Your balls are broke. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to know. I'm just breaking. <laughs> oh my god, oh my gurdy. Shelly is a chef. Oh well, there you go. Wait, we might have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know. We might have to get somebody to do a contest and get somebody to come out and cook for us. Does that mean we can get a maid too? Because then I can get me like, you know, the little little maid outfit for him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh man. Uh, they, they would have to constantly run from Willy Vodka. <laughs> hey, yo, come here. Come here. Hey. No. Nah. That's funny. You know what? Old ladies can cook. That's true. That's true. Pick me, pick me, I cook steak. I'm a master. I'm not gonna answer that one. I'm not gonna say that one because I know it. I know it. <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me. <laughs> what a way to get free food, Abaddon. I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm smart. Okay, look, look. Well, there's two things I am. I'm beautiful and I'm smart. <laughs> I got a shit personality, but I'm beautiful and I'm smart. <laughs> Uh, you know you ended up in the maid outfit at least once i would i would i would actually i just said i'd buy me the maid outfit um yes i would I, I i still have an idea for a video scurvy tell me this would not be funny okay so let's just say we're together and you're doing a live feed and in the middle of your live feed i walk in from the back of the room wearing a little Bo Peep outfit. The original traditional little Bo Peep outfit with the freaking staff and everything, you know, the, the big hook staff and everything plop down and I'm like, don't ask me about my day. My day really sucked. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, I love the idea. You know, the whole, uh, what was it? Uh, Bugs Bunny and the dog, you know what I mean? Where, where you had to watch the, uh, or no, it was uh, the dog and Wiley Coyote or whatever. You know the 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 Coyote dude with that and the and the the little Bo Peep tutu thing. <laughs> that would be just amazing. And then like like the next live feed, I plop, I come in and plop in, or next video, I come in and plop in as like Little Red Riding Hood or something. And I'm like, ah, these jobs are killing me. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. And I would do it. I would totally do it come in as a as a french maid come in as a you know could you could you see me coming in in like a bunny onesie like all kinds of stuff that would be hilarious willie would still chase. i know willie would still chase me there's no doubt if yeah because i got beautiful legs <laughs> there he is 
He made it, ladies and gentlemen. Biggs the Clown is in the room. I love Mr. Biggs. Biggs is one of my Facebook clown, on live, real life clown heroes. I absolutely love Biggs. Biggs, welcome to the room. We've been talking about fun things to do at the cabin. Uh, we have a bunch of people there that, that want us to uh, choose a, a cook. They want to come cook for us for a week, for the week. <clears throat> yes, you are a pretty, pretty princess, you beautiful man, you. Um, we have some people that want to come cook for us, and they're like t saying all the things that they can cook. And uh, so we could uh, we could have a cook for the cabin that weekend. And I invited uh, Scurvy. I invited uh, Scurvy and Sicken to come out for the week uh, to the cabin with us. Um, and, I, of course, I know you won't mind that. Um, it, it's good. It would be awesome. And then we were talking about how I should do live videos. I should be wearing, uh, I should do that the little Bo Peep one that I always talked about. I think it would be hilarious. Debbie, go feed your dogs. Make some pancakes. Much love to you, Debbie. Thank you for coming in every single morning that I, I'm on. You are an amazing and you might want to start getting some pictures of that food you're cooking because I'm thinking I'm thinking I might do a contest and then we'll get the people that are going to be at the uh, cabin to vote on the best looking dishes and we might get a cook to come out and hang out with us I don't know it sounds like a really good idea so we don't have to cook you have a mental picture of me in a maid's outfit I know right <laughs> I would look good I'd make it look good <coughs> Biggs Guess what? Oh, oh, that's my microphone. Over the weekend, Biggs, my TikTok has blown up. So, Biggs, over the weekend, my I, I've gotten over 2,000 followers on TikTok. And one of my videos is now, I'm going to go check it again, because it's, it's, it's still going up. Like, every time I refresh it, it goes up. Um... One of my videos is sitting at 47,000 likes. The other one is at 14.9 thousand likes. So 14.9K. Um, and then I've got another one at 4,000. Um, and I'm trying to find the other one. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. And another one sitting very close to 10K. Uh, very close to 10K. And of course the other ones are all, you know, doing pretty well too. But 47,000 likes. I'm like, what? And I've gone up over 2,000 followers in two days, three days. Now it's like a stay be third day. Um, that is amazing. So if y'all are following me on the TikTok, I really do appreciate all the love y'all have been, been given and sharing everything out and everything. But yeah, um... Biggs, how cool would that be? We get uh, we get uh, Jay, uh, Sicken and Scurvy to come out there too for the week, and all these people want to come cook for us. So we could do like a contest on all our Valifies. When anybody that's going to the cabin, whoever's going to go to the cabin for the week, get does a live feed. They can ask their fans to submit pictures of food too, and then whoever has. The, the 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 we you know we all get together we all look at all of the recipes and we look at all of the foods and whatnots and then we can choose somebody or a couple people to come and cook for us for the week that would be amazing really cool don't you think yeah Harbound in Cincinnati um is going to be in March March 20th through the 22nd in Cincinnati Ohio Horror Hound weekend Cincinnati Ohio March 20th through the 22nd I am definitely definitely thinking about going um i put it down on my calendar i've got to discuss it with the management and management will actually contact them and see if they can work something out for me to get paid to get there or i may just go um yeah the numbers the numbers are insane um i couldn't be more blessed and and, and more grateful to have a couple videos you know go pop up like that um i hope to have more i hope to continue to grow and I'm pretty sure as I continue doing my feeds, they will. Um, new videos out. There's been new TikTok videos out. New videos pushed out from the uh, doing the live shows and the live uh, appearances. Um, I think that's a great idea. I know, dude. Just because you know none of us want to cook. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Um, we have to get somebody to. We have to hire somebody to wash dishes too, though. 
Uh, we'll hire Willie Vodka. We'll tell him we'll give Willie Vodka booze if he shows up and washes dishes for us. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing that I was talking about, Jason, was trying to get all the Cult of Fools together for a convention next year. Trying to get all the people that are a part of Cult of Fools uh, to a, to the same convention as well. I thought that would be really cool. <coughs> But um, yeah, so many great ideas, so many great things going on here. And I couldn't be more more blessed. Everybody that's trying to do this industry, I want you to understand something. It doesn't matter if it takes one week or if it takes 10 years. As long as you're pushing out a good message and you're having fun doing it, it really doesn't matter if you have 500,000 followers or two followers. As long as you're able to get with one person and make one person smile, then you're doing your job. So please don't think, uh, I hope you don't think that me talking about these numbers is like some type of bragging or something. I'm really not trying to, but I am really excited about them. And, uh, and I've worked real hard towards this. So I really, I really hope you, you guys, uh, I hope I can remain humble and try to remain humble, even though the numbers are going up and just continue doing what you're doing. And I promise you, you will have success as long as you're doing something you love, you know? Uh, I have not seen the paranormal security videos on TikTok. I have to look at them. I have to look them up. Uncle Willie in a maid outfit. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be. <laughs> well, I'd have to run a red and black one. <laughs> that would be hilarious. So yeah, um, as I was saying earlier, there are some videos. There are some new videos up. Uh, I did post a video. I didn't know Barbara. I knew somebody was recording, but I didn't realize it was Barbara until she sent it to me. Uh, recorded me talking to a young man while I was doing the live appearance at Spencer's gifts about being worthy. You know, we talk about it on the, on the, on the, the show and stuff here in the morning feeds, but I take it out in the world and I try to, you know, I, I watch for people and I start talking to people and I, and you know, the biggest thing I think about being an entertainer is being able to reach people and, and speak with them and make them feel like you're talking directly to them. Like, you know, there's songs out there that, that that feel like they were written just for me because they so matches what I'm going through. And there's there's movies that make me feel like, wow, man, that they understand me. They, I went through that, you know. Well, as an online entertainer or, in a, you know, a live action entertainer, I want to do the same thing. I want to be able to, to, to reach people and, and, and talk with them. So Barbara, Barbara, Barbie, uh, was video recording me talking to this young man and I put the video up on TikTok, on Instagram and on Facebook and uh, and uh, I really would like to know y'all's feedback if y'all like like the message that I'm pushing do you think I'm doing a good thing um, I, I said that you know everybody's worthy and sometimes it takes a monster to make you realize it you know what I'm saying that uh, I, if I have this platform if I have these fans then why not put out the positive message so that's what I'm trying to do, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Good morning, Ann. Uh, thank you, Tamara. Thank you so much. Um, that means a lot to me coming from you because you are an amazing person as well. Uh, so to have your to have you proud of me is is really 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 awesome. I really thank you because that's really cool. Uh, you really wish you could travel to the cons to see you um well just keep looking because uh, this the so far next year from what i'm hoping i'll be in north carolina cincinnati ohio dallas texas and phoenix arizona as of right now that's what i'm trying to get to so look at the music thing oh i missed it was it funny i'll have to go back and look later Exactly. So much negativity in this world. We need more positive demons like you in this world. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, if, when people started talking about you, like you play a demon, I'm like, if you never watched Spawn, Spawn was supposed to be hell's general and lead the armies of hell to heaven's gates to burn it down and win against it and fought Malboja. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Just because you're a demon doesn't mean you can't have morals and values. And in my mind, a demon's a demon because he went against the ultimate authority. So why wouldn't he go against the authority of hell too? You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do. Live free. 
be happy share it you know what i'm saying so absolutely and abaddon doesn't listen to anybody anyway because abaddon is the king of the abyss and kings don't listen to other people he does what the king wants to do it had a modern terror above your face oh that's cool oh that's cool y'all yeah, have to go back and look but um yeah so ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it i wanted to talk to y'all this morning and tell y'all that thank you so much for those numbers these numbers are amazing thank you for following me on tiktok instagram and twitter at monster underscore abaddon thank you so much and if you're not please go follow me monster underscore abaddon it's on your screen right there on tiktok instagram and twitter of course you're following me on facebook because it's an official abaddon apollyon and that's what we're on right now so i really appreciate it good morning carnage what's going on bro um please follow james scurvy scurvy now has 46 46 k fans on tiktok but they could all he could always use another two or three so go follow james scurvy it's scurvy the clown on tiktok follow biggs the clown absolutely joyster follow carnage carnage is amazing too uh popcorn always always show love for popcorn uh because he probably will kill you um i love each and every one of y'all thank y'all so much for coming thank you so much for watching the videos go go check them out go to the page go to abaddon apollyon the click on the link up there go to the page check out the videos and leave me comments let me know what you think about what i'm doing and if there's something different you'd like to see please let me know i really like the audience participation i like y'all's participation and 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 kind of leading me forward because uh you guys are really really amazing yeah, Scurvy is freaking amazing. Scurvy is awesome as shit. 46,000 fans. 46,000 fans on TikTok, Scurvy. Wow. That right there is legend. So, you know, me and Scurvy had talked before, before I leave, me and Scurvy had talked before, and Scurvy really loves Flinch, okay, and, and everything. And I do too. Flinch is a great guy. But, um, <clears throat> Scurvy, you realize that you're part of the big dogs now flinch yeah twitch heckles flinch tremors abaddon scurvy and sicken you're part of the big dogs man absolutely you are gonna go down in history as an amazing amazing clown you already have forty-six thousand fans that is amazing guys we love you all we love you so much you all continue being amazing people Go and support your fellows, your fellow clowns. Go and support your uh, the, the entertainers online. Check out their feeds. And remember, the people that are in the chat room with you are like-minded. You can find some really good friends in there. Uh, we are going to order more shirts. We're going to get some. It looks like uh, Relic and them sold out two stores yesterday. So we are going to make sure everything's rolling straight. If you can't get to a store or if you do not have a store near you or your store doesn't have your size... Go to cultofools.com and you can pick up your shirts there. All right, man. Uh, what is the words? What are the words I'm looking for? Love, peace, and chicken grease. I am out like the fat kid in dodgeball. You be amazing, and we love you so much. Peace. Jason, I'll message you in a minute.